Hello viewers and welcome to yet another ASMR video. Today I will be focusing on the topic of free will, a topic chosen of course entirely of my own volition. Also in this video I will be using pictures that I have taken from my local field which I feel fit the ASMR concept quite well. So are we as humans truly free? In a sense, this matters entirely on where you live in the world. Whereas us in the first world countries such as England and America take for granted our free speech and right to protest, in countries such as the infamous North Korea, the populace's very thoughts are manipulated through their devious media. For an even more extreme example, the pharaohs of ancient Egypt forced thousands of slaves to construct their enormous pyramid tombs. However, while it is clear to tell a slave from a free man, it is not so clear as to whether a free man has the free choice that he thinks he does. Consider for a moment this scenario. You are locked in chains and are unable to move your arms and legs, no matter how hard you try. You wish to escape. However, you are bound by iron manacles and therefore cannot move. One way of looking at this is that you have lost your free will as you are incapable of breaking free. No matter how hard you will it, you simply cannot escape. Alternatively, has your free will simply been altered? You, locked in chains, now know that escape is impossible and so now your free will is simply to try and last as long as possible. When I first thought of this situation, I was very much in favour of thinking the man had lost his free will entirely, but then I considered that iron chains are not the only form of restriction on us as sentient creatures. Now, in another instance, consider you are on a hill and you are feeling slightly beside yourself. For whatever reason, you have an uncontrollable urge to fly, yet alas, you cannot. In this example, the iron chains have been replaced by the laws of physics holding you down. So, now that you realise that you cannot fly, are you without free will? Or has your free will simply been altered to accept that you are not a bird and therefore cannot fly? The interesting thing about these two scenarios is that they tell us one of two important things depending on the answer you have chosen. If you decided that you have no free will, then this means that we never have free will as there will always be something, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, stopping us from achieving it. On the other hand, if you thought that your free will had been altered, then this means that we always have free will, so long as our minds are capable of adapting to situations. Another point of controversy regarding free will is whether or not it is a good or bad thing. Some of the greatest atrocities in human history have been committed with and without it. For example, Nazi guards have claimed to have only been following orders, yet that does not make what they have done any less monstrous. Conversely, serial killers have often acted out of their own deranged sense of righteousness, yet had these individuals been subjugated, then perhaps the horrors they caused would not have occurred. It is the general opinion that freedom is always the best option. However, too much of it and a society will fall into anarchy. Of course, anarchy is not inherently bad if the people living in it are generally kind and considerate. However, sadly, this is rarely the case, and people will usually tramp over others to get what they want without restraint. Similarly, a dictatorship is not inherently bad. However, as the saying goes, absolute power corrupts absolutely. If a leader of a society was truly selfless and fair, then a dictatorship would not necessarily be a bad thing. However, yet again, this is simply not the case, as history will tell us with examples such as Hitler, Stalin, and Mussolini. In many countries of the free world, democracy is believed to be the best option when it comes to giving its people fair living and free choice. 
However, democracy is not without its flaws, as it considers everyone as equals, when perhaps everyone should not be considered as such. Don't get me wrong, I do not believe arbitrary categories of people should be discriminated against. I just believe that certain people have a more valuable vote than others based on their own behavioural merits. For example, in Britain, everyone over the age of 18 is allowed to vote. However, sadly, not everyone over the age of 18 will vote sensibly. While a few may read into each of the running party's policies and make an educated decision based on what they have learned, a great more will vote arbitrarily based on the charisma of the party leader. Therefore, I ask, should these ill-informed voters have their say on an equal level with those who have a much greater understanding of their options? I personally do not have a strong allegiance either way, as I believe there are arguments for both sides here. However, what it comes down to is whether or not free will should be in the hands of the wise, or everyone, regardless of how responsibly it will be used. In conclusion, I think it would be fair to say that free will is a good thing overall. However, I also personally believe that we tend to take it for granted too much in modern society. Thank you for watching this ASMR video. See you next time.